Hello, everyone, and welcome to Real Quick, episode 146. Today, we have a fun little, silly little, goofy draft recommended by Roka 1.0. Best movies with long-ass movie titles. Longest movie titles, seven-plus words, seven words or more. Um, we've done Real Quick drafts in the past. I don't have episodes outside my head of one-word movie titles, movie titles that start with the, <laughs> movie titles with a, a number in them. Um, so we've done all kinds of movie titles drafts, but this one might be the most tough one yet because we have to go pretty deep in our bag here to get seven plus worded titles. First pick's gonna be George. What are you going with first? We said we're gonna can only do one per franchise, just like we did on our draft on the Real Talk episode this week. George, first pick. Yeah, for first pick, I, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Borat: Cultural Learnings of America mm-hmm. for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. Wow, interesting. Because that's just a hilarious title. Mm-hmm. Yep, uh, that was definitely on my list. Uh, Seth, your your first pick. Do you want to type it out already? Do you know? <laughs> I might have it on my list. So I can copy and paste it. The Lord of the Rings: The Return. Oh, you're going. Okay. Yeah, he's going for it. He's going okay. for it. I just need to get that one in. But the others already. <laughs> oh, actually, this one. Interesting. I just found another three one. or four thes in one title is crazy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, a lot of thes. Yeah, of those. the quad the. Could have just been Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. Just get two of those thes out of there. Um, my turn i will go oh i get back to back here so i will go first i'll go birdman or the unexpected virtue of innocence so one two three four five six seven okay we're good and then i will go we'll get the kubrick on here that everyone's probably eyeing no (laughs) dr strange love or how i learned to stop worrying and loving the plot and we're back to seth and i only have Five more preps, so hopefully you guys don't take it. <laughs> um, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. I only have four more prepped, so hopefully you guys don't take me. Uh, the, the Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, absolutely. Uh, yeah. George, you get back-to-backs. Crazy. Yeah, back-to-backs. Um, I'm going to take uh, this 2015 horror film. Oh. Um, I Spit on Your Grave 3, Vengeance is Mine. You actually shouldn't take that. I fuck. You've and seen then, that? Both of you seen that? Oh, I have not seen that. I've yet. seen it. No, f- but that is the I funniest title I've ever seen. I spit on your grave three. Vengeance <laughs> is mine. They are the worst poopy that is shit ever. The craziest movie title I've ever seen. Um, I'm almost inclined to take two and one in my next picks. Um, but I'll go uh, a recent romantic comedy I watched, How to Lose a Guy in Ten oh. Days. I now have three prepped. <laughs> <laughs> So I need all three of those. Um, so Tyler, I, I will say I am confident you're forgetting a movie because I think you would have picked it already. No, nah, I just didn't think you guys were going to pick it. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Okay, Tyler, so, are you ready to type this down? Yes. I'm going to go for the fantastic 2005 horror comedy, <laughs> Night of the Day. This is going to take a while. This is a long no, Okay, I'll just say it. Night of the Day of the Dawn of the Son of the Bride of the Return of the Revenge of the Terror of the Attack of the Evil Mutant Hellbound Flesh-Eating Subhumanoid Zombified Living Dead Part 3. That's what I'm going to go with. So if yeah, you want to... You know, like, oh, you've yeah. got it. Nice, nice, mm-hmm. nice. That, yeah, yeah that's I don't it. know how many words that is. It's a few. It's a few. That's it's probably the longest insane, title ever. Insane title. Insane. They <laughs> just took every... Movie. Like every, popular every, horror and like mashed it into a, a name. Who's trying to promote that? Crazy. Um, um, and it's part three, and there's a part five on there too that I'm sure you guys. There is. Well, there is. Part five. But um, George, is this one you're thinking I'm going to Eurovision? Yeah. Spawn contest yeah. story fire yeah. saga. Yep. I just didn't think you guys were going to take it. So I have two more on my list and two more slots left. The most likely one either one of you would take would be the last black man in San Francisco. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good pick. Oh shit! Yeah, that's a good one. I didn't see that. Seth. I mean, I I I have the funniest pick. I'll go. I actually um used to like this film. I wish you get the full title. Well, it's still I, like it. I'll go um the the classic hood comedy. Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. I'll go with that. I used to like that when I was younger. Insane. That it? Don't be a menace to South Central That's while drinking juice good. That's Can we take right. short films? Sure. How, how short are the films? It's 16 minutes long. It's a yeah, comedy. 
Go for it. Go for it. Okay. Sure. Uh, this is called. Oh, I see it. <laughs> <clears throat> I was gonna put this in the honorable mention. This is a wild fucking name. This is insane. Wild. I I can't believe this exists. Um, it's called I killed my lesbian wife, hung her on a meat hook, and now I have a three picture deal at Disney. What wild. the fuck? 1993 yeah. horror comedy short. It's number three on the IMDb list of longest titles ever with 20 words. <laughs> wild. Absolutely. It was. Can you guys guess who it was directed by? Jeff Prophet? No. What? Uh, I just thought I my job was crazy. Yeah. I saw who it was directed by Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> What? Dude, what are we doing? Didn't it? So, oh wait, it came out in 1993. That's insane. That's insane. One of the reviews goes: Ben Affleck's directorial debut proves that you should never give up, no matter how hopeless you are. Wait, because they got Goodwill Hunting in 1997 when they were like young 20. So he was like a high schooler making that killed my lesbian wife, yeah, yeah. on a meat hook, and that. This is someone who needs to be on a list in high school. That's right? insane. Like, That's an insane ooh. name. That's crazy. <laughs> um, George, your final pick. Oh shit! I did not come prepared. I forgot I had back to backs. I need another funny pick. All right. There's like I, real picks left. That you can oh pick. yeah, there, there, real there are for there. sure real picks. Yeah, but real picks aren't as good though. I'm yeah. not gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'll go with another romantic comedy. You know, get my girlies up in here. I'll go with to all the boys I've loved before. Yeah, you love that. I do. I do like that first movie. Is there multiple movies or is that a TV there's, series now? There's three. I think okay. there's three movies. Uh, Seth, your final pick. I'll go with something I actually really love, and I forgot this was there in seven words. Uh, Uncle Boom, me who can recall his yeah. past lives. Yeah. I was going to say, I was, thought you were going to get that. I, I forgot about that. Yeah. Mid, Uncle Mid, me. Who can mid is me. <laughs> 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 Yeah, there's a couple of real ones left I'm seeing now. Um, but I will go with... You have to go with a fake one, Tyler. You've not got a fake one on that. Oh, oh. true. Fine, I'll go with the fake one. Um, not a fake one, but... You, you, could, you could say anything and I'll believe it's a movie now. It's true. True. Uh, I don't want to get part five of the ones that pick because that's like the same, the same exact name, just part five. But I got to get... That is actually the longest title ever. I think it's like 44 words. So That's a crazy know. title. That's an insane yeah. title. Night of the Day, of the Dawn of the Sun, the Bride of the Return. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> it's I mean, mean this one is half, the, half yeah, the title is Of and The. It's this, It's just like a, <laughs> every horror film, just in one. <laughs> crazy. I'll just go like for like a, this is like a very real movie. Like, it stars Wesley Snipes and Patrick Swayze, um, directed by Biban Kidron, but. Just a kind of silly title. So I'll go for that for my last pick. Uh, to Wong Fu. Thanks for everything. Julie Newmar. <laughs> um, but yeah, this has uh, been a wild draft. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to compare the part three and part five. Yeah, they're the same that exact title. That was good. It's the though, exact bro. title. It's the exact title. Yeah, it's the exact same title. And then the first one was Night of the Day of the Dawn of the Son of the Bride of the Return of the Terror. It's crazy. Um, and then like some real ones we had left were like the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Redford, Robert Ford, which someone gave me as a recommendation on Patreon that I still need to get to. Yeah, I've been working on that a lot. Come back to the five and dime Jimmy Dean, comma, Jimmy Dean, Robert Altman. Like these are like real movies <laughs> that have long ass titles. Uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny. Yeah. Oh shit! Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. We There's could have. Like, oh, we could have picked the man with the smallest penis in existence and the electron microscope technician who loved him. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Could There's like. That. <laughs> There's like 17 Land Before Time animated movies that all would have counted. <laughs> what? The man. Oh shit! Nine Wait, this, is, <laughs> this isn't this isn't seven uh, words or longer, but I just googled funniest movie titles: "Curse of the Queer Wolf," uh, <laughs> "Rat Fink and Boo Boo," uh, "I Bought a Vampire Motorcycle," "Quaxer um, Fortune Has a Cousin in the Bronx." Some of these are insane. Ken, I don't even know how to pronounce that word, so I'm not going to say that. George, George, I need you to go back on that phone you said, and don't say them out loud, but look at the cast of what? Of, of the man with the smallest penis in existence no. and the electric microscope technique who loved yeah. him. Tell me there's someone like funny in this. Where's the cast? 
Where's the cast? I'm oh, assuming that's not the actor's real name who played the nurse. Ariane Drant? Brant? Is that the cast? Am I looking at the cast? Yeah, but look at the second name, George. Luke Dinsdale? Wait, are you on IMDb or something? Yeah, I'm on IMDb. On, I'm on let, me send, let me send you in the chat. I'll send you both. There you go. Who? Uh, Mark Dichter? <laughs> look in the chat. Am I looking at the wrong thing? <laughs> So, <laughs> wait, oh. <laughs> that's insane that's crazy that's crazy are we even allowed to say that on the pod no <laughs> we'd be cancelled <laughs> well, why, that's why are they Nate what the fuck <laughs> that go is on letterbox look at the second person if you want to see what we're talking about but, <laughs> yeah I still that's can't crazy. believe because like that the so the one that George you picked the I killed my lesbian wife hung her on a meat hook and now I have a three picture deal at Disney I like saw that and I was like that seems too like crazy and grotesque to even like draft it like worried about saying that and then I saw it was directed by Ben Affleck <laughs> Ben like, Affleck insane that's he was twenty insane. years old when he directed it I'm like what the is it on Letterboxd I'm assuming it is uh, I, I'd imagine I mean I'm probably gonna have to oh yeah it is. It. <laughs> the post is crazy. Wait, oh my god, the post is crazy. Jesus Dude, there are some funny fucking movie titles. This is unreal. Wait, that so that Ben Affleck one was written by Kamala Lopez. Every literally like every review is a star. Jesus Christ. I'm wondering if no, I, and she's not related to Jennifer Lopez, I don't think. But I was gonna say, damn, was he like with J Lo like that young? But that's our draft. Um, I guess I'll read through these, goddammit. George drafted <laughs> Borat, Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. <laughs> I spit on your grave three, Vengeance is Mine, How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days, I Killed My Lesbian Wife, Hung Around a Meat Hook, and Now I Have a Three-Picture Deal at Disney, and to all the boys I've loved before. Seth drafted Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, and then we take a hard left exit. <laughs> yeah, Night crazy. of the Day of the Dawn of the Sun of the Bride of the Return of the Revenge of the Terror of the Attack of the Evil Mutant, Hellbound, Flesh Eating, Subhumanoid, Zombified, Living Dead, Part Three. Dude, it sounds like that, that sounds like a early 2000s Eminem verse. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. That sounds like a eight mile diss by Eminem. <laughs> and Uncle Boone Me, who can recall his past lives. Yeah. Very roller coaster ride for Seth. Then I selected Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Innocence, Doctor Strange Love, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga, Last Black Man in San Francisco, and Tu Wong Fu. Thanks for everything, Julie Newmar. Let us know who has the best collection of five names. I think it's between George and Seth for silliness on this one for sure. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna watch that Ben Affleck short like today. I, I, I'm, I'm intrigued. I wonder if it's available, but that is. I mean, if it's not available to log in Letterboxd, there's no it. way it's available anywhere to watch. Well, yeah, no, well, you will be able to find that. People, I've got, I follow four people who've logged it. That is the craziest oh, wow. title I've ever seen. It it's is, got logs. People have watched this shit. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have to find it. Um, but yeah, that's our draft. Uh, shout out to Roko One Not This went in a direction I was not expecting, but for the better. Wild draft. Um, with that, we will see patrons tomorrow on our episode of uh, Real Patreon, where we're going to be talking about Jeff Prophet and the prophecy. Um, but with that, yeah. um, we will see you on Monday for everyone else, unless you want to join the Patreon and join the cool kids. But otherwise, we'll see you on Monday with Real Talk episode 83. Peace. Peace.